this point, our program is supposed to be complete, but it still has a bug. If we put in foo in bold, in quotes, as input, what we would expect is an output of foo. However, what we get is a completely different output. What we get is an output where the quotes are stripped, but the HTML tags are still there. And obviously, the output does not match what we actually expected. We do have a bug in here. When I was a student, I never got any formal training in debugging. I had to figure out how to do the debugging myself. What I learned was how to use debugging output. That is, I would go and scatter output statements everywhere in my program. In Python, this would be the infamous print statement. So here again, here is our program, and here's the one single input that goes wrong. If you press on run, what we get is the quotes removed, but the HTML markup is still there. When I was a student, I never got any formal training in debugging, so I had now to figure out myself what went wrong. The only thing I knew was how to use debugging output. So I would use the print statement in Python in order to figure out what had gone wrong. Essentially, I would go and scatter print statements everywhere. For instance, I can go and print all the local variables in here. Cool. So I know what the character is. I know what the status of tag and quote is. Now I click on Run. Oh, yeah. And here comes my big output. Now I can scroll down here and see, oh yeah, yeah, sure, 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 obviously. And you, of course, now you can immediately see what's going on in here. Uh, no, I'm afraid I can't because this is just a long, long list. Think of a 1,000 character input at this time. If you have a 1,000 character input, you have to go through 3,000 lines of logs. This may help you, but it's a total time waster. You have to enter these statements, use them for debugging, and then remove them again. It is a total maintenance nightmare.